and welcome back. This is a slightly different video from me today. We're going to be covering some Ansible interview questions. So this is going to be, um, I'm not going to give you the answers, I'm just going to give you the questions and then it's up to you to then go off and have a look and work out what it is. So if I was going to ask, if I was going to be um, the interviewer, this is some of the stuff I'd ask to try and work out if the candidate really knew Ansible. I'm not going to go into loads of questions, it's just going to be, you know, a handful 15 maximum maybe and you'll you'll get to realize pretty quickly whether the guy or the girl knows what they're talking about so why should you trust me well I've been using Ansible for over four years now um, I previously worked at Red Hat and I used to help customers on their automation journeys which involved a lot of Ansible and automation and work making that work for their environments my fedora I forgot to show you earlier but this is it so when you work for Red Hat you get one of these um, I've also passed the RHCE, which is the Red Hat Certified Engineer exam, which is the EX294, and you have to complete that completely in Ansible. So you have to completely configure your server and complete all the tasks to look um, so that when it tests it afterwards, it passes, and that's all done completely in Ansible. So I've got quite a bit of experience. Um, let's just start with some of the questions. So nice and easy off the bat, Ansible basically is YAML. It's in a YAML format. Can you tell me something important about YAML and the formatting of YAML? You know, at this point, you probably want just something like two spaces. <laughs> if they don't say that, then maybe they don't know anything about Ansible at all. Um, the next up is things like, what is the inventory? Some people call it the host file, but what's the inventory file for? You know, how does Ansible use that? What's it for? And then we can move on to things like what sort of information goes into the Ansible CFG file and why would that be useful or helpful? You know, as people, if, you, if they use Ansible a lot, they'll be using the Ansible CFG file um, to really make their life easier. You can move a lot of things that you would put on the command line, say, into that file as like a default, which is quite handy. Um, can you explain to me what an ad hoc command is in Ansible and then maybe give me an example of how you might use that? You know, to run something against a server, maybe to show up time of a list of servers. Um, what's the difference between a playbook and a role? I'd expect people to know that. Um, name some of the Ansible modules that you like to use. What's your favourite Ansible module? You know, and tell me why you like to use it and what it's for. Um, then getting a little bit harder. Um, Ansible templates. You know, what are they? Can you tell me anything about them and what are they used for? You know, you want to hear words like Ginger Two at this point, you know, and managing files, that sort of thing. Um, how could you list all the facts on a server, you know, using ad hoc commands? You know, what module does it? How could you list them out? And what information does it show when you list out all the facts? Um, what is a handler used for? And how do you call it in Ansible? You know, that is very important <laughs> if they can't do that. Um, can you give me an example of variable precedence? In fact, tell me what variable precedence is and then give me an example of it. Um, that'd be a good one. Basically, what variable in one place trumps a variable in another place? You know, and there's there's like 20 odd different variable precedence places. So I'd expect them to know a little bit about that. Um, this is a good one. What's the difference between include and include and an import? You know, it's quite fundamental the difference why, why would you use one over another um, how do you create an Ansible role you know it's a fairly easy command if they've used Ansible a lot they'll know this um, how do you create an, an Ansible role um, you want to hear things like Ansible hyphen galaxy in it you know and then some role names um, next up what is an Ansible collection how do you download it where does it live you know that sort of stuff and then if they if you said that you could potentially ask them how do you then use a module in that collection inside your playbook you know, that'd be another good one um, how can you oh, I've done that one so like in your inventory file what's the host group you know what are the children of a host group um, how can you add variables to a host in an inventory file things like that um, tell me what line in file module does they may have already explained this earlier, but that's a good one. And and what's the difference between line in file and a template? Why would you use one over the other? And then lastly, um, in this is how do you encrypt a secret and use it in Ansible? You know, 
stuff you, you need to know this stuff you know um and then as a couple of bonus points maybe like can they explain what special variables are in ansible um and how they're used and also maybe given a, in ginger 2 which is in templating give me an example of a conditional or a loop statement that's something a little bit more tricky to do sometimes have an if else inside a template so it'd be good if they can explain how they can do that and also as a final, last question when would you use delegate in Ansible? You know, normally, you can delegate a task to run on localhost within a playbook that's running on remote servers, or you can you can delegate. Um, there's a few options with delegate, so you want them to talk about that sort of stuff. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, if they answer those questions, you probably don't need to go into any much more detail because if you're happy, then they would have done a pretty good job of telling you what they know about Ansible. And I would be probably fairly happy with them joining the team. You know. So anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe add your questions to the comments if I miss them out. It could help some other people. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.